name is Adil and I work for Stem Cell Care India. She is Miss Doris. She came from USA for her problem. So, many your good names, ma'am? I'm called Doris Fulton and I live in Minnesota and Minnesota, uh, USA. I came here yesterday with uh, optic atrophy. Okay. When it was diagnosed, ma'am? 1996, I, I was involved in a cyanide poisoning. And because of the poisoning, I was, I, my doctor told me I can never see that. That's all about my sight. That my optic nerves are broken, are bad, are destroyed. So that made me to, to look so it's ways. All I could do was to look for other treatments which I could not find. So I relied on God to do what I wanted to do in my eyes. So which line of treatment you have tried after that? I've not tried I went to, whenever I go to check up, my doctor tell me, your optic nerve is bad and optic nerves cannot be overgrown again, so no, no, no remedy for me. And also, had, I had this uh, dilated eyes before. When I go to the hospital, no, no, they don't need really to dilate my eyes. They won't change my eyes. So, last time I went to the hospital, my eyes, which is just uh, December of last year, that's the first time the doctor gave me a drop in my eyes. I was fluorocarpine 1.25% to close the gap between the opening and to see where they can by closing it, but they're dilating my eyes. He said, he thinks if the dilating is closed, I'm able to see, but it didn't help. So what is your present condition in 2022? Well, in January, I heard of this same cell. No, I didn't hear of this in January. Before, like seven years ago, I heard about stem cell. I went to my doctor as a patient can go and ask him what they can do about my side so I can do stem cell. He told me, uh, Doris, this is an illusion, not a stem cell. And I'm surprised, this is in January. No, last two years ago, my sister went to Mexico for alternative treatment. She had cancer and she had a lot of symptoms there, but the way she was treated with cancer, she didn't like me to go back there. So I didn't, didn't pursue her until my nephew came to India, Bombay, for his own symptoms. And he, is, he has, a, I think, cerebral palsy. They call it, and he's doing well. So when the mom came with him, he followed up. I asked her to check out where they can do optic atrophy here and see she did and this is me here. Okay, so how was your experience during the communication with our doctor and with our colleague? Initially, I didn't know what to expect. So I don't know, I talked to the, to, when the person wrote me on the email, the person said that he gave a phone number that I can also call. I like to by voice to voice. That that brings me that makes me more that makes it more clear. So when I called him that night he told me that indeed they can do they can help me if I sent to my medical report. I'm not a hospital so I don't like going to the hospital or anything, so I didn't have much on medical report so I went up I said what I could and most of it I explained it by myself. And that's how I was given a try. From then onwards, I've been communicating on and back, on and back. And the, and the communication pattern is so smooth. It is so smooth. It's not like difficult at all, no. It will write you, it will reply to you, whatever one they give you. That so, is. so, are you happy with the treatment part? Yes, I'm happy with the treatment part. I'm just looking forward to having my sight. Okay. I want to have my sight. Boy, boy. If you have me content because I'll budget to any <laughs> So, do you want to recommend any person for our center, Stem Cell Care India, for the, for the treatment? From my interview with Dr. Amos, he says he's the 
sells their life for 90 days at Indo, and that uh, before then I may have seen my child, I've got my child. If I have my child, they just the fact that I have my child, it is not enough for people to come in. And I will recommend anyone who to have this video for me. It's not that expensive, it is just all right. If you can do anyone, you can also do it. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome.